Hello and welcome back to Dial H for Hero Clicks. I'm your Sexy Ranch Hand co-host Calder Ness. This episode, we're going to be talking about Canadian Nationals and all sorts of really cool prizing previews we got to see there, as well as talk to a special Patreon listener guest. This is episode 422. Howdy, howdy. Let's get rowdy. So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional hero clicks. No. Are you serious? Again? How many people even play this game? Like the hundred instant dead hand humor. Oh, how they six uh, people work. think I am funny. It's the hard day's work. Not that you know anything about that. Which you absolute fools, it's not witcher nonsense. I'm gonna make hero clips like that forever. Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey Google, back some Let's attack Jimmy, because he's a jerk. Wow, wow, wow. Dialage for Hero Clicks is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock every day, including all the latest Hero Clicks singles and seal products. Make sure you check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Use code DIAL5, that's D-I-A-L-5, for 5% off your Cool Stuff Inc. order. Joining me, like always in the studio, is Simeon Bruce. What's going on, Simeon? You know, Calder, I've got a story for you. Okay. Um, you know, when I was a young boy, my father... Yeah. Okay. took me yeah. to the city uh, to yeah. see a marching band. Mm-hmm. And he said, son, yep. when you grow up, could you be? Uh, and I, I forget. It's been a long time since he did that. But, Savior uh, of the broken? The the beaten and the damned? That, that might be it. That might be, you know, did your dad take you to the city I, too? You know, I think this was like a, uh, a thing a lot of dads did. It's, it's Yeah. Like, oh. You know, this like rite of passage you like to, <laughs> okay at least uh, a few were... there's like four people with that song stuck in their head now so oh absolutely mission accomplished. all the emo listeners and that that will be this will be a callback for later in the episode so of course of course yeah, i didn't do this for um, nothing no why would you why would you ever say something stupid for no reason we've n- never done that before no nope. uh but also joining us in the studio is uh, Bill, who also, Bill has a last name, but we're just going to call him Bill this episode. Hello there. Oh, wow. Obi-Wan oh. Kenobi is that. Or oh, Bill Kenobi, I guess we could say. Old um, Bill Kenobi, sure. Yeah. So, uh, Bill's Patreon member. So if you want to be on the podcast, ooh, you join the Patreon. Ooh, ah, potentially. Who knows? That's a name uh, I haven't heard in a long time. At least 10 years, according to Disney+. Plus. He's me. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and jump into what made us happy this week. Because Bill is the guest, he will get to start. What made you happy this week, my oh, man? Oh, sure. Oh, thank you. Uh, what made me happy this week? Uh, so it was my dad's birthday, and I wanted to get him a special gift. And my dad, uh, he grew up in Michigan's – I'm from Michigan. He grew up in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. And up there, it's kind of a mix between – um, pe- whether people are in foot in football to our international listeners, uh, American football, not soccer, like not soccer, like we call it. Uh, uh, whether people are a Green Bay Packer fan or Lions fans, and he was trying to decide when mm. he was a kid who he should become a fan of, the Lions or the Packers. So he one day went into a grocery store with my grandfather and bought a pack of football cards, opened it up, and opened up a Detroit Lions. Oh. NFL championship card and decided he's going to be a Lions fan. And he's regretted this for his entire life because the Lions are absolutely (laughs) awful. I was going to say, they're definitely the worst of the two teams. They're they're an embarrassment. Absolute embarrassment. Um, And he's always been like, man, I wish I could find that, that card that made me make such a terrible decision to become a Detroit Lions fan. So I thought, what would be a good birthday gift for him i did a bunch of research try to figure out what in the world this card could be like i had to figure out like what year it was like what set it could have come out i searched oh for it I, I found it i spent a whole bunch of time i found the card and i bought it for him off ebay i gave it to him for his birthday and he was he's like oh i can't believe you found that it made him really happy and i was like oh this is such a great birthday present for him right and you know what didn't make me happy? When he took it outside he, and when he ripped it in half. Uh, yeah. He literally, no, Simeon, he literally walked outside and lit it on fire. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> he, a man after my he, own heart. 
He um, was like, I had to exercise the demons, and I was like, I just spent like a month trying to figure out what this <laughs> is, and I figured it out, and I I found it for him, and he I, he was very happy, and he burned it. He burnt the thing on the driveway. He walked outside on the driveway on his birthday and lit the thing on fire and burnt it, and I was like, <sighs> all right. And he was a very he's like, I really appreciate that though. That was one of the best presents I've ever gotten, but it didn't make me that happy when he lit it on fire. Well, so know. I guess it, it was a mix. Yeah. It was a mixed bag of a week. You know, what can I say? It's the thought that counts. But now you have a good story, and that's almost worth more than the card or the research because a good story you can tell forever, and you can never lose. That's true. Mm. It is a very. It is a pretty good story, actually. I guess it's a good story. I, it's so a good I had to story. go with it. I had to lead with yeah. that story. Absolutely. Well, Simeon, you can't top it because your life's depressing. But yeah, no, go ahead, go into I'll, it. I will, I will say, like, I also got my father a gift. It was a it was a cutting board, and he also lit it on fire. No, uh, he was just like, oh, "This is shoddy oh craftsmanship. How dare you even present this to me?" And you were like, "I made that. <laughs> I made this for you." Um, no, so uh, what made me happy this week? Uh, it was Fremont days, or like. I don't remember what exactly it's called, but uh, it's one of those. Fremont is one of those little old, like almost thirty thousand towns, thirty thousand population towns. So it's not small by any means. But their their founder slash discoverer, the guy that built the town, and I, I guess he was like part of the Lewis and Clark thing, kind of an expedition, uh, like John C. Fremont or something like that. Sure. Um, it was, it's like a celebration they do once a year in uh, his name because obviously the town is named after him. So there's a car show, ton of like old cars. I don't know a ton about cars, but there's something about like really classic cars that I just enjoy the look. It's like, yeah, it can only go 110, like, and that's downhill with wind behind it. Yeah, it's like, you know, the RPMs go up to like 4,000 and probably redlining at that point or like, Stuff like that, but uh, it's just like the before we got real science heavy with cars, the aerodynamics, the pointy cars, all the like that kind of stuff. I just really like the style of them. I really like the look. I don't really care about like engines, and I'm not like a car nerd. I just appreciate the artwork that, like, you know, it was like sculpted kind of stuff. I did see a school bus from I think it was 1890. 18, yeah, it had been. Uh, it's like 110 years old or something like that is what it said. Oh my gosh! So that I guess that would be 1910. Yeah, uh, but 110 years old, 120 years old, something around those lines had wooden rims. It's like wooden <laughs> spoke rims <laughs> yep. with okay. uh, like the words printed on the tires. The tires, like rather than having tread, just said non skid. And I was like, <laughs> that's cool. Uh, still runs to this day. And like, man, what a what a fun school bus that would have been to drive. Because so like, when you get to that old of any kind of motorized anything, it basically operates more like a tractor than a vehicle. Where like, you don't have a gas pedal; you have like a gas throttle that is like a hand movement. So like, you have to like lock the gas throttle where you want it. And then there's a lot of other like fun stuff, like the old uh, crank over like engines and stuff. There's just a lot of, like, really fun stuff. Um, I also had some really good pizza there. There's, like, a little brewery that I found there. And the lady was like, ooh, this one might be too strong for you. And I, I drank it. And I was like, well, it was not. I don't then think you, fell you know over. me. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. It's like, it hit every table on the way I'm, out. I'm like, sorry. Oh, I don't think you know who you're dealing with. <laughs> like, this is only 10% alcohol by volume. You would need at least 30 to even affect me. Oh my God. Uh, yeah. But it was good. It was tasty. Um, the pizza was good. Uh, we went to this place called Crush. And I don't know what crushed margarita sauce is or crushed uh, marinara sauce, whatever. But um, tasted good. It was pizza. And then uh, walked around some like old vendor booths and stuff. And that was cool. But yeah, that's all right. that's all I really did this week. It was pretty relaxed weekend pretty fun right on sounds Um, like it what made me happy this week uh, we had a going away party for the i forget his official title but he's a guy that works at the community theater 
that I did. I hate Hamlet and then another show at. Oh, was um, that this week? So sure that wasn't, that was this uh, week. Sure that wasn't last week? All right, shut up, Simeon. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> la- last weekend I did. I just I saw Friday and I saw July. So I thought it was the first. I was like, all right, Simeon, I got to head out for a little bit. I'm going to go to the party. <laughs> uh, and then I got there and there were no cars there and all the lights were off. Um, and I was like, is it a surprise and I checked the, party? I checked the <laughs> Facebook. It was technically it was a surprise party. Yeah. Uh, but then I checked the Facebook event, and uh, yeah, it was Friday the eighth, indeed. So drove back to Two Falls, uh, went to the party, started at seven. So we played a one shot campaign of D and D since I likes D and D. It was pretty. It was a pretty good time. Um, I decided I hadn't played D and D in four years except I played a one shot two years ago, and I was like, yes, I will be. A cleric, level eight. Even though I don't know how spell casting works, and I've never been a spell caster before, um, that's okay. Uh, they asked, "Do you want to be a boy or girl?" And I was like, "You know, it, it might seem cringy, but I, I will be a woman instead of a man. I will now role play as a woman. If you think that is sad, I, I'd probably agree with you, but I was just having fun, and then I realized that she had no dexterity." And no intelligence. And I was like, ah. Sexist. She's a, she's a dumb, clumsy girl. <laughs> uh, so then I decided to make her blonde. And if you take offense to that, well, it's true. So I don't know what you want me to say. So then I basically talked like a... a um, I don't want to do the voice on here. I'm not going to. But a, a Yas Queen type person. The ah, next. Like a valley girl. Like a valley girl, sure. The next like three hours, and I just imagine the most like ditzy blonde in the entire world. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yikes! It was really fun. It was really cool. We fought a dragon for the first time that I'd ever done in Dungeons and Dragons. Um, it was very interesting. It was a very fun game that we played. Later, we played uh, Wormhole to Uranus. Very fun game. I mentioned it last time. I played as a drinking game that you and your crew, so all the people around the table, have to do random tasks to. Get your spaceship to the long, faraway planet of Uranus because Earth is totaled or whatever, and apparently that this planet is actually good or whatever, even though it's not technically scientifically livable, blah, 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 blah. It's a fun game. Um, per the going away party guy's request, I, I got the same character that was my, my robot character last time, uh, and then I felt the pressure to, to act and be as funny as last time, which I was like, ah, oh, well, here we go. Uh, which was still fun. It was still a great time. Um, but yeah, that's what made me happy. We stayed up till like 3 a.m. Just hanging out. That's just your normal cool. weekend now. Yeah, yeah. it kind of has become my normal weekend. It's very odd, but that's okay. Because then I get an energy drink. And then I drive three hours home. <laughs> it's just great. Uh, and then after I drove three hours home from waking up at... Eight, so I have five hours of sleep is pretty, pretty good. Uh, or three hours home after after that, and then my my family was like, "Ah, we're gonna get Netflix now, and you're gonna watch the first four episodes of Stranger Things with us." And I was like, "Yeah, I just got out of a car, stayed up late, I'm very tired." And then I just kind of morphed into the couch, became one with the couch, uh, and sat through what I thought was going to be like three and a half hours of Stranger Things was actually closer to five hours of Stranger Things with how long these freaking episodes are. Oh my gosh. Why are they all an hour and 20 minutes each? That's ridiculous. Um, and I also saw Love and Thunder this week, but that didn't make me happy. <laughs> Non-spoiler. But that's just true. Um, anyways, that was me. That was my week. We have a big show. Do you remember big show to get to. Uh, running up the hill? Running up the hill. Oh, maybe you're not there yet. That's season three, Stranger Things. That that so seems I, like it was probably not a great. That's a spo- spoiler alert. Spoiler. alert. I don't alert. know the, the running up the hill things. Like I've. Oh, it's just a it's a I've Kate Bush seen. song. That oh funny. yes, yeah. No, they did. We did <clears> get to that point where it's like if I make a deal with God. Yeah. Uh, uh, not yeah. a good song. Like it's not. Like, well, it's not catchy. I don't uh, think so. Uh, Maybe it's just the way they use it. I'm finding every character they've introduced so far to this season very annoying. The jock character is annoying. The nerdy D&D character who's, like, a spaz and druggy is annoying. 
I'm finding just every new character they've introduced so far this season to be annoying. Except for, like, the Russian guys are funny, I guess? I don't know. Either they're funny because they got accents. I have zero clue. But, like, so far, it's like... I'm not enjoying the characters in Eleven's side of the world. Or how, like, Will is acting. Or how Mike is acting. I don't know. Maybe maybe I hate Stranger Things now. I don't know. Nah, <laughs> I just or, don't Steve, like this show. Steve and Robin are still top-tier great characters. But, like, everybody I, else... I'm just I like, watched season man. one, and that's it, so... Oh, see, you don't even... Yeah. We talk, what are you talking about, Simeon? I've seen the, the Tic Tacs with the, the song. Probably have. Yeah. Probably have. Hey, speaking of Tic Tacs, ILH has a Tic Tac. I'm not proud of it, but uh, <laughs> it's there. Um, and if you want to see a kind of clips and snippets of ILH videos, and if you're a TikTok user, you can do it. Although I will say, if you want to save yourself the brain pain of going to TikTok, most of those videos will be published as YouTube shorts, i.e. and some will be exclusive to shorts. So the Letter Clicksy uh, shorts video, last time Letter Clicksy was just a normal video, and now it is purely a short exclusive yeah. shorts content there That's will be some where it's like we'll do most like blooper content going forward right a lot of blooper content um it's a lot easier just, and some fun little mini edits like simian had extreme rules and hot ones edited up there it's like yeah. a quick like little mini cuts like some best of stuff will be I shorts as do well a like just all of our chair shots because there's oh ah, there's gotta be like 30 seconds of chair oh. shots there has to be 30 seconds of chair so. shots which reminds me, one one more important thing we need to shout out, because this is future of chair shots, depending. Um, but if you have not subscribed to the Dodge Chair Coach YouTube channel yet, now is the perfect time to do so. So subscribe to the channel, get us to a thousand subscribers, because at a thousand, we're gonna be giving away a lot of hero clicks. Uh, we're gonna be mentioning more of it at the 950 mark for subscribers, the 975 mark, and then the thousand mark. There's a case of a certain set we're going to be giving away. Like, there's there's a lot of cool stuff we're giving away if you subscribe to the Dial H YouTube channel, and then if you comment on our latest video, it's our 1,000 subs subscribers giveaway video. All you have to do is comment your favorite video that's on our YouTube channel. It can be a podcast. Uh, Bill chose a podcast. He biasedly chose a podcast. Mm. I apparently um, was disqualified according to the rules, so, I mean, oh, we'll good. see how that yeah, goes. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. no rules except the ones that we say. I, Caller disqualified me, so we'll no, see that how was, it goes. No, that was me. No, you should mean Okay, yeah, I thought that was. That tell. seemed like a caller comment to me. Yeah. But all right, what, what is mean? that supposed to mean, Bill? I don't know. Check Maybe. the check the track record. That's all I can say. Check that wow. track record. All right. Okay then. <laughs> um, yeah. Make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't yet already. Convince your mother, brother, wife, husband, whoever to also subscribe. Uh, and sister yeah. too, I guess. Uh, your father, whoever, we're, subscribe. We're almost oh, so everyone. I'm no longer counting. We're at 940. We're almost to the halfway point between 900 and a thousand. And then, yeah, like like the video says, every quarter mark throughout there. So we we posted the video. We had the idea for the video. We posted it after we already hit 925. So the starter set watcher is going to be one of the prizes for somebody. Um, but there's also going to be a prize once we hit 950, one when we hit 975, and then, of course, when we hit 1000. And, uh, yeah. Fantastic. I, I mean, that starter, set, on there. that starter set watcher is just a great prize in of itself, right? I mean, oh, right. Absolutely. Outside yeah. of the watcher from that starter set, not that great, but that figure, it's pretty great. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't want the whole starter set. That's just clutter. You just need the watcher. <laughs> a whole bunch of. <laughs> If you are selling those uh, zombie Captain Americas, I will buy them from you. Three dollars. <laughs> Anyways. How many dollars? Three dollars. Three dollars. Three dollars. All right. Keep that in mind. I don't know. I don't know any, but, you know, keep that in mind. You could maybe convince me to do Tree Fitty. My last name tree is Fitty? Ness. Mm. Yeah. Really because my last name is Ness. I, I do have to abide by the <laughs> Tree Fitty rule. That's the way it goes. That old Ness monster. Ask me about Tree Fitty. All right. Let's go ahead and jump into the news because there's a lot of news. So, there was, like, Canadian Nationals the other day, and, well, you see, Simeon, like, they previewed a whole bunch of LE figures that we didn't know were coming out there, bud. So, why don't we go ahead and uh, pitter-patter, let's get at her. Um, <laughs> we have, uh, first off, I'm going to talk about it, actually, because 
it's the easiest one for me to quickly look up and talk about, but it's Batman and Catwoman. We're seeing now this one was made post rules change, right? For sure. Um, and you're going to be able to tell as we go through some of these figures because some of these figures' sculpts and boxes we've seen a while ago, yeah. and some of them are totally new who we've never this seen. This is the the Batman Catwoman like marriage from uh, 2018 is when the comic okay. apparently happened. A little. Uh, but yeah, it is uh, DP21001, so it was made in 2021, or at least right. designed in 2021. So they have two traits. Um, a wedding party of two. Sidestep combat reflex is traded. Opposing characters within six squares in line of fire can't use sidestep. Pretty big. Pretty yeah. big right there. Now, they have no improved targeting for line of fire. They only have improved movement for characters and elevated. That's still solid. Their second trait is on a rooftop in southern Gotham. And a Catwoman can't be targeted by opposing characters that are occupying a square on lower elevation. So if they are on the highest elevation, they just straight up can't be targeted by opposing characters that are in lower elevation. Yeah. So if they're on the same elevation, they can shoot them and punch them and whatever, outwit them, problem, all that stuff. If not, you can't see us. We're on, we're on the roof. We Slap my mic. Um... Then they have a damage power, so they are either 75 points or 35 points. Both point lines, they start with the damage power. Both point lines, they are char charge, quake, plea. They have willpower in their last three clicks, so that's their entire 35 point line. But then their first four clicks is all super senses. So it's a very squishy figure, but you know, it's kind of going off the whole can't be targeted, can't, you know, can't sidestep, can't be targeted. They have combat reflexes. They do have stealth, of course, because they have the Batman team ability. So just keep all that stuff in mind, even though they seem a little, little squishy. Their damage power is outwit and prob. Three. If Batman and Catwoman occupy hindering terrain, so not printed hindering terrain, just any hindering terrain, they may use outwit and probability control an additional time this turn. So a double prob, double outwit piece that can't be targeted if they're on elevated terrain, higher than a piece that's targeting them. And they also shut off sidestep within six squares in line of fire. Seems pretty solid. It's so. It seems like it could be meta, and it, it actually certainly just might be. Period. And maybe I'm being like an idiot. Yeah. The only reason. You so know, it's I don't hard know if you've to gotten tell. to this, but the, the only reason I wouldn't say that, and it's still like the case where you can just play good stuff is good and just play whatever. Right. For thirty five points, it's really really solid. For seventy five points, it's an awesome casual piece with plenty of like rollout oh, and protection. Yeah. Um, obviously Batman team ability for stealth. Uh, but yeah, the keywords are the, the hard. Yeah, part that is, this. it is a bummer. So you got Batman family, Gotham city, Gotham city, underworld detective and martial artist. So their best keyword is probably martial artist, which Currently, is probably yeah. Spider-Man family. If you play them with spider hammer, eye. Uh, Detective little... might get a bump with the next DC set. It'll probably get some sort of pile of characters. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Batman and Catwoman will be meta in December. <laughs> yeah, in December. You're gonna have to It'll wait. Be that they're... Shaggy, Scooby, Bat, and Cat. Oh, meta. the I mean, yep. mystery gang Detective, is so, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. gonna be meta once they start popping out those clue mystery cards. It's uh, it's a done deal. Hey, but that's Batman and Catwoman. Me, yeah. I'm getting married I don't wanna... here. Let me do I my don't clue wanna, cards. Well, it's like, you don't want to... I See, like, the way I see it is more of a... Uh, oh, gross. They're, like, kissing. I don't want to look. Like, that's that's my, like, uh, public display of affection. Ew. Nasty. Yeah. Cut that out, guys. I don't want to... I don't wanna look at that. But then they don't let you sidestep away from it either. So it's like... Oh, yeah, that's true. But Calder, when we put the new, like, Red Lantern ring on them, they're going to be completely unstoppable because we know that it's going to be super awesome. True. Yeah, the Red Lantern ring is. I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be broken. Gonna need an errata immediately. Oh, probably. And actually, it's gonna get banned before it's ever usable, like the Teen <laughs> yeah. Titan power, because yeah, that power <laughs> actually does kind of work well with uh, with Ares special speed power. Oh, segue that was a flawless segue. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so I am going to read off uh, Ares here. And Ares, start off with his, uh, his trait. He's got two traits. Uh, colossal Stamina, Protected Outwit, Opposing Perplex, and Opposing Probability Control, unless the target character is higher points or has the deity keyword. 
which I he would has. say not super common. <laughs> True. And then stand and face me or grovel like the cowards you are. Charge, sidestep. When an opposing character breaks away from Ares, after resolutions, deal them two penetrating damage. I mean, that's pretty scary, right? You got if he if he bases you, then you got to break away. You get two penetrating damage. Not very fun. I mean, that just next is that would like KO a uh, black heart when he's on his stop click. Two pen damage, just straight up. Oh yeah, because he he doesn't reduce pen damage, and it's not Good from an attack. Heart. So yeah, he would just Arch for free, huh? Arch for free, <laughs> running shot for free. See what see what happens. See what happens. Good idiot. Try a break bid. Yeah. That was oh, a special speed power. Succeeded. I didn't mention it by the way. Uh, special attack power. At the beginning of your turn, choose a standard attack power. Ares can can use that power this turn, which obviously very good. And then he's got a special damage power. Behold your destiny. Exploit weakness. At the beginning of your turn, roll a d6. One through two, Ares can use Battle Fury and has free make a close attack. Five through six, all other characters can use Battle Fury. These effects last until the next turn. Your next turn. Yeah. Now so we there's, got. Now there's we, a three four where it doesn't do anything, but both options are extremely good. The one two and the five six both extremely strong. Uh, obviously, giving all other characters battle fury is really really strong. But then also just having a free attack with his printed values is really good. So he's 165 points. He's got Mystic's TA. His keywords are Armor, Deity, Mystical, Soldier, Warrior. And his top dial is, he only has one point line, is 12 Phasing, 13 his Special Attack Power, 18 Invincible, and 5 Outwit. 5 Damage Outwit. So, I mean, he's, he's pretty beefy. Yeah, he's. I don't know if he's. Is he better? People don't like to play figures that are that high of point costs. So I was say at one sixty five, his defense lacks a little bit, but eighteen defense at one sixty five is rough. He's a standard character, so you can you can still work around that a little bit with like equipments that we have and stuff. But protected outwit, opposing perplex, and opposing probability control, unless the targeting character is higher points or has deity keyword. I think the, the majority of the times you're not going to be facing off against a higher point character. And I don't know how strong deity is outside of, I mean, most deities are like running what, like uh, the spider Pharaoh. Oh, uh, um, you mean? Yeah. Though no, it's Mary Jane as well. Sprite is Sprite a deity. Oh, baby. Like the, the Thanos like Sprite... kind of build is basically like this one guy's only weakness. But even then, like what's Thanos doing to this guy? Mind controlling him? On like clicks two through seven, if he rolls a one or two, Thanos can't mind control him. And on clicks two through seven, if he rolls a five, six, Thanos can't mind control him. So. Oh, true. It's, I don't know. I don't know if he's good enough. I feel like at 165, he should have, like, double stop click or well, better ways to heal. He's got great keywords, though. Like, unlike Batman and Catwoman here, he's got armor deity, mystical soldier warrior. It's like mystical's oh. really, really strong. Deity can be Spider-Man family. There's nothing good with armor, uh, though. Do you? There's no uh, way you'd be able to add, like, I Stilt, don't know. Stilt man and kind of when like, you're playing silver? Come on now. Stilt of, like, man and silver is unstoppable. Point. Hey, Bill, you're not catching the drift. 55 <laughs> Still points. man. He's like, Bill, man. I'm like, no, no, Bill, no. I mean, <laughs> if he had Mastermind, does he have Mastermind? Uh, no. I know. Mastermind to the old Stilt man. Um, yeah, you could probably play him with, like, the 55-point scary Iron Man. Yeah, scary Iron Man to be obviously solid. Demon in armor. Yeah, maybe I don't know. <laughs> like demon armor is just great. It's with just Karn one Iron, extra layer you know? of protection. Yeah, another thing, you know. Um, is Thanos a deity? Would Th- I mean, Thanos doesn't even have outwit though, does he? Get it? I always, I always forget. No, he might. He might get it. I always I, forget. Yeah, he I does don't too know. much stuff. But um, I don't. But think I like the way it, but... the divine aura of war. That's like a cool way of how they used to have that trait. 
it was like the new style of wording yeah. for it for all the Superman one of the uh... deities. Like that's cool. Um, so they keep the same trait. They you know update the wording. Um, also, but man, could you stamina attached to it? Like, oh yeah, <laughs> that's pretty funny too. Which goes to show, ladies and gentlemen, this was made in 2020. Uh, or no, it can't. It had to have been made in like 2019, set for a 2020 release. I mean, the stats um, aren't that bad though for no for when no, they were actually, creating. I would say, like compared to the other like DC LEs, like Grodd and like Brainiac and Lex, this is like really good. I think this is like solid piece. It may not necessarily be meta, and if it is meta, I'm not seeing it. But um, he is still super strong and super awesome, like in casual and everything. Like he's still a 12 phasing. 13 attack like 5 damage I don't know could you but like could you imagine Simeon if his speed value was his range value and he had a 12 range yeah <laughs> that would be yeah. that would be pretty crazy if there were a character that could do such a thing <laughs> Hawkeye who's uh his eyesight uh, okay. isn't quite what it used to be well tell me exactly what he does Simeon since I missed the segue <laughs> let me let me hear it Impr- inform so, me he has two traits, one special damage power. This is Old Man Hawkeye, apparently from a comic book line I didn't even realize. Uh, I own the Old Man Logan like series, the like original issuing of it, um, but apparently they made an Old Man Hawkeye specific series. So uh, Old Man Hawkeye's range value, just like Skinny Steve, they're really just like sticking the knife in and twisting it with that name, Old Man Hawkeye. Uh, so, Old Man Hawkeye's range value is equal to his printed speed value. Printed speed value. So, no modifications. He has improved targeting through hindering, and then he has the longest road trip, which is what Old Man Logan from XXS had. Uh, not the LE yeah. one, but the XXS one. Once per game, if a friendly character that can use this trait is KO'd in an opponent's starting area, you take an extra turn after your next turn. So... Really cool trait. They KO one of these characters. It's something that you could never really pull off because there is only one character with a trait. But as we get more of these, hopefully... uh, See, when did XXS come out? 2017? 26? No, it would have been 2018, 2017, something like that. 2017, yeah. It's been a hot minute since that trait first appeared, but we finally got an addition to it. Um, At least casually... If you run up and get in your opponent's starting area and they KO one of your characters with this trait, then you get to take a whole extra turn, which is kind of nuts in Heroclix. It's actually like stupid nuts in Heroclix. Really good. Um, he has a single damage power that is one in a million shot, and it is power once per game, make a ranged attack targeting a single opposing character. If it hits before dealing damage, choose a standard power the hit character can't use the chosen power this game. So this isn't a green arrow effect. Um, it is it's more interesting than like the just delete defense powers for a turn well, kind of it thing. It is still before dealing damage. It is before dealing game. damage and it is choose a standard yeah. power. So you could just say like no invincible and then they can't use an invincible. But more interestingly like in like a boss battle situation, let's say you're going against uh, Galactus, and you just say uh, no willpower, and then he just oh, <laughs> just for the rest of the game can't use like the colossal willpower, which is kind of a big thing for colossals, uh, kind of super good. Um, but yeah, that's running shot. He's got sidestep the rest of the dial. He's got running shot on one click, first click. He has ESD on his first three clicks and then goes to Super Senses for the rest of his dial, which is seven clicks long total. He drops from a... Well, he just has bad defenses total. So his first click is 17 ESD. He goes down to 16s with ESD on clicks two and three, and then he's a 16 with Super Senses on click four, and then the rest of his dial is 15 defense with Super Senses. So Precision Strike on his first three clicks, which works really well with that special damage that is on his first three clicks so he has a 12 for three on all of those triple target of course he's using his printed speed value as his range which very reminiscent of a certain uh 
easy rider with a tiger that uses the yes. uh, speed power for or speed value for attack value um but it is it is fun when they do stuff like that so it's printed actual printed on dial value is zero with triple bolts but uh the lowest speed value he goes to is on his last click he's a three speed with sidestep so from clicks two through seven he's sidestep he has eight seven six five four three it's like a countdown and then he dies uh but yeah he gets uh when he loses that special power one in a million shot once per game power i don't know why he has it for all three clicks you can't really use it with the running shot well you can't you just can't use it with the running shot but you can use it with the sidestep clicks uh once he loses that, he does get uh, ranged combat expert, so he'd be a 12 for 4 for 2 clicks. So, on no point in his dial is he dealing less than 3, which is cool. But he's 60 points. Uh, he's got Avengers and Future keywords. He's just a fun piece, and he's a really fun sculpt. He's shooting, like, 3 arrows. He's got his hair blowing in, like, the wind. He's doing like a little crouch thing so this is a the hawkeye that's now deaf or not deaf sorry he's blind basically but uh in the old man logan and i assume old man hawkeye universe uh he uses his hearing and his hearing aids to like basically uh still do what he used to do with his bow and arrow so right yeah i like him too bad he can't be called in off an id card if you're so, if you're playing silver, oh, right? Yeah, I mean, there is no that'd be pretty Hawkeye idea. Yeah, I mean, it'd be pretty, pretty nice if you could. If his just name was just oh, Hawkeye, yeah. then you could call him in off the ID card. Who cares about it? it's only once per game? Just yeah, hit right. someone yeah, real power hard. Action. Call him in power action, mm-hmm. and that's. I mean, that's a power where since it's already a power action, and since it's once per game, I feel like it got like a double. Like, you got, like, a double whammy, so you have to, like, TK him into position, sidestep him into position to ever pull that off. It is a really cool thing. Um, The fact that it's once per game and a power action, I feel like I'm not going to be able to pull it off very often. My opponent's not going to let me stay on those clicks very often. It's it's really tough. Like, could you imagine doing that against, like, Thanos? You're like, okay, no more free phasing for this game. No more free regen. Or no no more, like, invulnerability. No mind control. Yeah, like... I mean, yeah, That's pretty good. You take any power away from like a heavy, like any kind of, of like bigger, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. one man army kind of character, and it's pretty solid. Well, well one man uh, army, yeah, definitely. I mean, you could right. cripple somebody, whatever their key power is. Yeah, like like Holler said, Thanos. Like, take away his free phasing, take away his mind control. I mean, if you take away his mind control, that might be just game right there. There's like a lot of stuff. Or uh, what's the Iron you know, Iron Man for? It? He can choose all sorts of powers, but like if you take away like running shot or something, it's like he is much slower, worse. Yeah, you know what I mean. Get rid of uh, there's, like, there's all sorts of characters. Like I'm trying to think of like characters you can't like one shot or like let's say Sky Tyrant. You take away his charge. You know, even though you might not be able to kill him, he's already maybe racked up so much blood that he's going to be able to reincarnate for decades, forever. Um, yeah, forever. Um, you can still be like, all right, well, you can't charge anymore. So yeah, if Sky Sky Tyrant can't charge, I mean, he's super slow. You can probably avoid him, right? I mean, yeah. even if he's got a bunch of resurrection tokens, you can avoid him, pick off the rest of the team, and then worry about him after that. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's it's still super cool. And I mean, for sixty points, I I do love this Hawkeye. I mean, obviously. The Golden Age team with him and Old Man Logan are going to be really cool. I do hope yeah. his daughter, the Spider Woman, I believe they're making this year. Yeah, also, I, I hope she has the longest road her. trip. I know she's not like part of the cool road trip gang that Logan and Hawkeye were, but like then again, the road trip was just Logan and Hawkeye. So, <laughs> like, Logan, Hawkeye, Spider Buggy, and uh, yeah, that was that was it. Maybe it wasn't even like our the long little road trip. Hulk. Now the little Hulk was like already on the way back. He didn't even take any other. Yeah, he didn't take any part of the road trip. Nope. Never mind. Uh, yeah, yeah, so he was already. I guess they run into. They do run into like ancient like Emma Frost uh, along the road trip. So she's like old oh, lady yeah, she Emma tried Frost. To make herself look pretty with like yeah. mind stuff. And, and then they I run ugly. into the the old Venom T Rex. Is like a pretty Venom. iconic. Right. Venom T Rex is, is yeah. my is what you I know, want. Uh, I want the two by two Venom T Rex. You know when we first see Venom T Rex. Where, Calder? 
right outside of Mount Rushmore in uh, South Dakota. Damn. That's the same. Tar pit. T-Rex. There's a Venom T Rex outside of Mount Rushmore? Yeah. In the comic, Bill. In the comic. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. Oh, like, oh. Like, oh. I, didn't realize. I, didn't realize I, I mean, South I, Dakota I never was know that, what you, you guys know, are doing in up the there. Comics. Yeah. I thought you might have just like yeah, burst gosh. a pipeline and had a. Uh, like a monster truck rally at the same time or something. I don't know. And not monster trucks really aren't our aren't our thing. Can't well, say. They should be. They should be everyone's thing. That's fun. If you're gonna burn to mon- like twelve gallons of diesel every minute, <laughs> you might as well do it with a monster truck. Because you know, some of the some of the best wrestling in the world was done by Hulk Hogan and the Giant uh, in monster trucks. <laughs> monster trucks. Hulking havoc. <laughs> Makes me think of that I mean, sort of terrible GameCube game. I think it was released on several consoles, but it was uh, like the WWE car battle game that was like basically. Oh, um, love that! It was it was like a clone of Twisted Metal because Twisted Metal. Oh, was like are you cool serious? One. And yeah, it was it was the WWE version of that. So you had your like signatures. So like The Rock was driving oh some gosh. sort of like Cadillac with like horns on it for like the Brahma okay. Bowl. And okay. his signature just like shot out like two big old lasers or something. I don't know. Ah, like how all... the rock is known to do, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. None of them made sense. Like the Stone Cold Stunner, you're like, oh, so like electricity, like stun him. And then it was like, bam, like leaps into the air and smashes him. It's like, oh, <laughs> okay. Sure. Good game, though. I like yeah, it. Yeah, I believe it. It actually has some, of the, some of the worst cutscenes. So it's like an alternate universe. And this is, I'm sorry for this tangent, everyone, but this is, it's like an alternate universe where WWE basically became the only like channel that people watched. So imagine idiocracy kind of thing, but (laughs) there is no Netflix. There is no like, yeah. So like the cooking channel is WWE cooking channel. The like, you know, whatever the history channel is WWE channel. So there's literally like all these cutscenes where it's like Kane at like a barbecue pit, like grilling hot dogs that's like, wholesome though cooking. yeah so like it's it's funny because it's like this alternate universe like wwe got so big that we, like we couldn't do without monster truck rallies so th- of course <laughs> the wrestlers had to do it it's like hey. what is going Whoa. on and then oh my gosh yeah you just got to roll with it that's before cena though so there's no cena in the game oh Spoiler. no yeah. oh, that would have been so good well was he was crazy. invisible. He was just invisible. That's the reason why he <laughs> oh, wasn't yeah, in the he's game. A, he's yeah, actually yeah. a hidden character. Hidden mm-hmm. character. <laughs> Fantastic. No one's ever made that joke before. Well, no one made a segue, but we're just going to move on to it anyways. I'm going to talk about the Punisher. This is a figure I've been really excited to see ever since we saw his box. His Punisher with a repainted Captain America shield and then a repainted, well, it's an Ant-Man helmet with a little Punisher skull on it. And then he's got a little tiny little gun making a big old energy ball thing. So it's kind of a Punisher raids the Avengers armory. Yeah, I don't imagine the Avengers having an armory, but I guess it's something they have. I mean, like, I, maybe they, like, like, quarters. They, like, Do you uh, think it'd be, like, lock up throw all, all our villain throw weapons? All our you think you just or... destroy villain weapons? Like, Yeah, the villain weapons would make you, more sense. Yeah, yeah. Like, arrest so, Dr. Octopus and you just like destroy like, the arms, right? You're not gonna like put them somewhere and be like, ooh, hope no one feel like, like Cap mm-hmm. is keeping his shield in the, the armory. Compound? No. Yeah. Like, you, you know, you keep that MF and Thang on him at all times. You know, it is like a stay strapped, get clapped type world they'd be living in, so Ant-Man I could believe because he's had a few different helmets, but again would that not just be in like his own lab? One and, would like, think. In lab. But anyways, this Punisher is Marvel Knight's armor and soldier. He has improved targeting, ignores characters, and can shoot while based. An MP20 uh, character, so it is three rules stuff. He's got a plus five trait, though, which is during force construction, add an equipment of 10 points or less to your force without paying its cost. Punisher starts the game equipped with it. This object does not count as one of your placed objects, so he's just got a plus five trait. You can give him any 10 point or less object. Yeah, that's pretty dang awesome. I mean, we just got a bunch of really good objects. All the swords yeah. are ten points, so like all of those are up on the grabs. And silver, obviously, and all Wonder the Woman. gems. Yeah, I feel yeah, like instantly Wonder Woman equipment. Like, I'm gem for the extra range and prob, or it's you know 
your boy powered Power. them. Yeah. Because it's disgusting. Double but damage. It always. But, like, there's also, like, arc arms, like, heavy objects that suck to try to get equipped. You can always just start this sure. guy equipped, which is really cool. So, and if you want him to fly, you could give him Beetle Pod. I guess he's already got traded. He's already got toughness his whole dial. So maybe not. But anyways, uh, then he's got another trait, which is Black Ops Tech Free. Now, this is definitely not Black Ops Tech. This is definitely the Avengers Tech, because if you look at it, well, you'll see. Uh, choose one, but you may choose one only once per game. So you, you can only choose each of these once per game. So I'll run down the list here. It's Tiny Symbol, ESD, Force Blast as free, or Blades Claws Fangs. And you can only choose one of those once per game. So on a turn, if I choose Tiny on my first turn, I can never choose Tiny again for the rest of the game. But basically, I've got four powers, or well, three powers and one ability that I can have access to. Ever really need to be tiny? Boom! If you feel like ESD is a solid like pick, probably a solid second turn pick or something, you get moved up. The opponent might be able to shoot you but not punch you. ESD is a great pick. Force blast is free. You never know; could always be good. And then blades, class fangs. You know when you're all up up in their business. And then that's his uh, his traits and stuff. Seventy five points. He is an eight speed, twelve attack, eighteen defense, toughness. Three damage at wit with running shot and penetrating psychic blast with six range. So he's a uh, 12 for three pen blast with six range top dial. It's really solid. He keeps running shot until click three. Uh, so he's 75 points at top dial. Click three begins his 50 point line uh, where he's still a running shot pen blast piece. But all his values except for speed and damage go down by one. So he's only an 11. In his last three clicks, he has sidestep and range combat expert. And then he has this special attack power gonna try the little one the little one probably being the gun he's holding in his sculpt pulse wave when he uses it after resolutions you may knock back any number of hit characters three squares very clear the board pulse wave figure with range combat experts so he's going to be an 11 for three a uh, pulse wave lock damage value of one but if he pulse waves a whole group he gets to knock them all back three squares that's pretty darn solid i really i really dig that um it's it's just a fun piece it's not crazy it's not really crazy good, but it's a very fun casual piece. Uh, it's also a Punisher. We finally have a modern Punisher now that whatever Punisher is rotated. Although technically we had a modern Punisher yeah. still back then. But uh, the this one one's cool. One that's like a more appropriate point cost. Right. Because um, what was it, was it like 50? Like 50. It, but this, yeah. guy's, this guy's 50. Yeah, he's got so a 50 point line. You can still, uh, you can still pop yeah. this guy. It's kind of funny to think Punisher like, it's like, War oh Machine. man, it's like War Machine Punisher. And then he pops out and it's like, oh, Ant Man, Captain America Punisher. What in the world? <laughs> Just kind of. That was like actually funny... exactly what I was going to say. Yeah, so like you can pop this out of Punisher War Machine. You want to get wild. Yeah. Yeah, see, it's just it's just a fun it's just a fun piece. I I can't wait to play him as like a Punisher fan. It, it's a really unique take on him. So yeah, it's just it's just neat. It's nothing crazy, but yeah. it's just neat. It's a fun sculpt for like at the very least. Oh, yeah. it's a fun sculpt. Uh, big old energy ball, Ant Man's helmet, cap shield. I don't know whose gun that is, but then yeah, then like the normal Punisher outfit beside that is. It's a very fun little sculpt. You know what else is a fun little sculpt? Man, no, spider. Is it spider? Is it? It's actually it, a pretty big sculpt. It's not. It's not small. Say, the last two figures we have to talk about, neither is really a, a tiny. No, sculpt. they are. They are actually quite sizable sculpts. Uh, but Bill, if you want to go ahead and tackle old spot slash slash, nerd. I will do it. So we got SP slash slash DR. Um, she, she, mind you, yeah, is Penny Parker is at 100 or 40 points and she has improved movement elevated and hindering cuz obviously improved hindering very important she got a trait that is penny parker psycho well, this is going to be a tough one psychogenetic pilot free once per game generated a penny parker bystander when Spider is KO'd, if you haven't generated a Penny Parker by center of this game, you may generate one in Spider's Square. Call in help from the Spider-Verse. Classic. When Spider hits an opposing character, if no character has been placed this turn, after resolution, you may roll D6, 3-6, place another friendly character with the Spider-Man family keyword adjacent. She's got a special attack power. Web Trap Modifications. Free. If Spider hasn't been removed or placed this turn, make a range attack with a range 
of Spore. Instead of normal, choose one. Give a hit target an action token. Until your next turn, hit target has immobile. Or the other one is, after resolutions, place spider adjacent to a target. So her dial is... Top dial, she's got 10 speed charge, 11 her special attack power, which she can choose those different things. Then she has an 18 defense invincible, a 4 damage outwit. On her 40 point line, she has a 9 speed charge... The same 10 uh, special attack power. Then she has uh, an 18 impervious and a 3 damage outwit again. What do I think about her? Um, Well, I mean, she's certainly fun. What do you guys think? I mean, the sculpt is really cool. That's probably one of my favorite sculpts uh, that they've shown. It's just very wacky, goofy, robot spider thing. It's another Penny Parker which is good because the last one was just Steam oh, Penny. Yeah. So now we it's actually weird that get like we, a normal. We didn't penny. have the actual one before we got the alternate alternate one. It is weird. It is weird. Um, I will say though, perplex and power on a sidestep pog. I mean, I wish it had autonomous. Of course, I do. But, oh um, yeah. Oh, perplex and power is such a really like good pog to just get out. It's still good and it's a free. You know, it's for free. I don't know. I really, if it was a 30 point line, I could see her being played all the time. I don't know. I just don't quite see it for like 40 points. My biggest I mean, problem is so this, then Spider itself has zero range. So it's a charge, it's a sidestep, it's a flurry, it's a close combat piece. And then it has right. that special attack power that is free if Spider hasn't been moved or placed this turn, make a range attack with a range of four. Which would be great if you could shoot out of like adjacency, like if it was giant, but it's not. So like that da- that attack power it has its whole dial where you're trying to close the gap and trying to like hit like eleven for four or eleven for three oh, sure. or whatever, or just flurry, like all the powers that it has, you know, maybe pop out penny and you can't even carry penny with this thing, I guess. Um So yeah, like I'd have to equip like the as, as stupid as it sounds, I'd have to equip like the cloak of levitation to this character so that I could like break away sidestep after I charge and then next turn free uh, make my range attack kind of thing. Because that's to me, that's like the most interesting part. You do a range attack within four instead of normal damage. You give them a, uh, an action token or right. they're immobile. Any power that can give people a mobile, I think, is underrated. It's really cool. Yeah. Um, or after resolutions, you just place it adjacent. Uh, the only time I can think that that might come up is if somebody like tags you down to like the um, side step like a or flurry, like, flurry click. click, yeah, and then they break away, and then next turn you're like still within four, and you can shoot them, place adjacent flurry. That'd be cool. Also, this character was created by Gerard Way. Uh, also created the Umbrella Academy. Um, also lead singer of MCR. Yeah. So there I said is. there'd be a callback, and this is the callback. Yeah. This is actually his first comic that he wrote for Marvel. Not his first comic, but the first one for Marvel. Oh, sure. So, yeah. Uh, I will say, not particularly great. <laughs> it was okay. No. The, com- the comic no. was all right. Oh, the comic. Oh, yeah. yeah it's a, it was a one-shot comic, and it was, it was all right. The... The Penny Spider Verse thing is all right. Speaking of all right, though, well, here you go. We got one last thing before we we wrap up Canadian Nationals here. Uh, we have Phoenix Sentinel. This is MP twenty one zero zero one. So this is a little bit newer than everything else. Improved movement destroys blocking. There's a lot of stuff going on because this is a two by two. Phoenix Sentinel is like one of the things that I was most interested in when they were previewing stuff for like San Diego Comic Con stuff. It does have Cosmic Energy Team ability. Uh, it has the Mojo Verse, Phoenix Force, Sentinel, Cosmic, and Robot keywords. Some of those things are useful, some of them are not. It has one trait, which is an automated apocalypse. At the beginning of your turn, if Phoenix Sentinel took damage since your last turn, it may use regeneration as free, which is good it's not amazing because that's the only way you can use regen so if they're hitting you quite a few times 
you're not going to regen enough back to like make the difference back. But um, yep. has a special attack power that is all worlds that harbor mutants must burn. A penetrating psychic blast. When Phoenix Sentinel hits with a range attack after resolutions for each hit opposing character, deal one penetrating damage to each opposing character within three squares of them that they share a keyword or team ability with. So for each hit opposing character, you deal one pen damage. So that would be with two lightning bolts that the Phoenix Sentinel has, potentially two pen damage to every opposing character within three squares of them that shares a keyword or team ability. Um, Unyielding programming is the special defense power, which is just stop impervious. And then special damage power is cosmically enhanced targeting. That is probability control and outwit. So the rest of the dial... It's a 2x2, two two, so it's got a 19-click uh, long dial if you play it at the full 600 points. And at 600 points, it starts with 14-speed running shot with 9-range, 2 lightning bolts. So on its own, that is a 16-square reach with 2 lightning bolts. It is a 14 attack with that special attack power that I would just mentioned, the pen psychic blast, uh, additional pen to like characters within range. 21 defense with impervious and six damage with that prob outwit so very solid top dial at 600 points um the next lower line i'm not going to go through everything very on the very dial. playable at meta right i mean very meta yeah, yeah at that's 600 that's 600 meta yeah of course of um course. it does have a stop click right before the 350 point line which is the next line so there is that stop click that comes into play stop impervious um and that 350 line, you start with a 12-speed running shot, same special attack power, same special damage power, 20 defense with invulnerability. It's not as good as Impervious, but it's still a 20, which seems good. And then you have a stop click, three clicks down on click nine, so that's click six to click nine, uh, which is right before the 225-point line, where you have running shot with that special attack power, 19 defense with Impervious, that same special damage power that is prob outwit and then two clicks after that 225 starting line there's a stop click so that is the final stop click until the final final stop click so if you play at 225 you have two stop clicks you'll hit one within two uh yeah within two damage of click 10 and you'll end up on a running shot energy explosion prob stop click uh, and then you go to three clicks of charge, poison, prob, and invuln, which is the only close combat kind of things on the dial. It's weird. It's just three out of nine. Yeah, it's super weird. Everything it's else is range. Odd. And then there's three really like kind of just in the middle of nowhere. It's almost like they missed putting like an extra point value. The final Simeon, point value, though. Engaging the mutant menace. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you understand. And venting the cosmic radiation. Yeah. Venting cosmic radiation is the poison. You think it's what like I do on poison. Twitter sometimes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I vent, I vent cosmic poison all the time. 75-point uh, line starts on click 16. You do get one stop click. You start with that same running shot, 11 attack with the special pen psi and deals pen within three squares kind of thing 18 impervious and three damage outwit and then of course click 19 is your stop click with phasing regular pen side and that special damage power of outwit prob so i don't know this figure seems real stout obviously i think playing it casually at 600 is the way to go um playing it casually at right. 350 also a good option um I don't know if this is something worth playing, like trying to build around in 300. I feel like 225 isn't a long enough dial. It does have two stop clicks. Defense values aren't quite there to be over two thirds your build. And at 75, I mean, it does have on its own, it does have a 14 square reach at 75 points with psychic blast and three damage. So maybe, um, but yeah, I think the the biggest thing for me is at 600, if you hit me to a stop click and then I can free regen next turn, or you don't hit me to a stop click and I can free regen, uh, 600 becomes like a very rough 
way to like try and deal with this thing. Uh, it's interesting. It's a really cool sculpt. It's got flamey hands. It's got oh, a it looks great. Like, chest. Yeah. It's got the big old uh, Phoenix Nest logo on its chest, which is great. Mm. I'm glad that they made. Yeah, well, to please, use their... like fifty percent of the competitive Heroclix community. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Seventy-five percent of people that show up to tournaments will mm. will have been on that team at some point. I think. Um, but yeah, it's a cool figure. I'm glad at 600 points, I think they dialed in like what a 600 point dial looks like. If it had that same trait that Ares has, where it's like can't be probed, outwitted, uh, yada yada, unless they're like certain keywords or higher points, I think it'd be perfect. But it does have power or cosmic, so or cosmic energy, so it does protect from outwit. It is rolling a three through six willpower so it's going almost every turn basically every turn unless you're real unlucky it's kind of just right. a nasty piece well fantastic it's, that uh i gotta say what is it retailing for do they say it's like 60 50 bucks is it a prize so this was um to wrap up canadian nationals congratulations yeah. to emily who oh, won yeah, canadian nationals and as far as i know she did win this from winning Canadian okay. Nationals, but gotcha. I feel like this was like a top this wasn't like grand prize. I feel like it was just like um like top four or top eight kind of thing. Okay. Uh, I do know that it wasn't say... like purchasable, although people did say that the uh the spider spider was purchased. Spider was yeah. purchasable. That was one that yeah. we, like people had purchased before anything had wrapped up and pricing had been a little out, weird so. though because a lot of the stuff we didn't know existed well some we didn't know existed like hawkeye and everything and then a few of these we've seen before and didn't know if they would ever be released and now they are just all of a sudden prizes yeah but we kids didn't mention them for at least this yeah. year it does so feel a little bit if like... at nationals or if at worlds these will I even be there i don't know have to assume these will be up Nationals. I would assume so. I would assume they'd be at least at Worlds. I don't know about Nationals, though. I really don't. Yeah. But, uh, I well, hope none they of these are there. are the ones that they said were... So, like, Phoenix, they said it would be at San Diego Comic-Con, and then all the other... Like, that was the earliest, and then it would be at all the right. other stuff after that. So, I feel like that'll definitely make appearances at any yeah. convention. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or, I mean, they, we saw some of the other prizing was like the Thors and stuff was like more of the normal prizing, but this was just all this extra stuff that we just didn't know was actually going to be there. So right. the normal prizing is there. And like, obviously we got to see this dial because we'd never seen it before. It's like, that's why it was shown off. Um, but yeah, it's just strange. Also for anyone that cares about 300 modern oh. meta, uh, Emily was running uh, the Legacy Thanos Collector Molecule Man uh, Rare Sprite from the much desired Eternals movie Gravity Feed and then Star mm -hmm. Sapphire with uh, the Aunt Petunia's house. Uh, what is that? The Aunt Petunia's house. I can't remember it's what like exactly. It's like Outwit, is. Prob, Perplex. You can oh, use it. You, you can, can only go six squares. Yeah, yeah you can only use it for six squares. squares. That's, that's, well, that's the consolation, right? If you if you don't win map, they can only use Outwit, Posing Perplex, or Prob for six squares. Six. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then the Cloak of Levitation as well. So, interesting build. I don't know how exactly it works other than Thanos good, I guess. Like, Thanos good. Um, but other than that, like, it, it's a fun build. And from what I could see, there was, like, decent competition there. There wasn't, like, nobody that I saw listed in, like, the 16 was, like, a slouch as far as Hero Clicks goes. Oh, no. Um, like,. Emily's a great player, and she had to beat a lot of other good players in order to win. I, yeah. I, mean, I should know this, because she beat me, one of the greatest players of all time. <laughs> yeah. uh, definitely not the Dakota State champion. Uh, hey, the greatest player there. in the... Uh, well, uh, now that now that Lucas moved out of South Dakota, maybe South Dakota? I don't know. You could argue. That is an argument. Uh, yeah, that is um, an oh, argument that could be that made. That is an argument that could be made. Uh, we also... I don't know if I'd make it, but you could. We also know all of the, real quick, all the multiple man. Um, the multiple man? The, not the multiple man object? The, the multiple man objects, objects that he can turn the into. Multiple, so. The multiple man? Multiple man. Yeah. So We're talking about plastic man? Yeah, plastic oh, man. Plastic yeah, that man. Was the, not multiple. That was the, 
Joe, there you go. You did it, the, buddy. The plastic guy. Uh, so this guy can turn into so much stuff. He Let had us the have traffic it. Traffic cone, right? That was the Whoa. one that he started with. Now he can be traffic barrel, which, yeah. if you know, much harder to hit with your car than just the cone. The, so the, the cone barrel was really hurt. Opposing characters that begin movement within four squares modify speed minus two. Um, and then, and then obviously nifty. the light object disguise does the same thing, but right. it's indestructible, immobile. Uh, the fire hydrant is opposing characters. Uh, let's see. Opposing characters must end their movement when they move adjacent to this object. And then the disguise is at the beginning of your turn, choose an adjacent opposing character, roll a D six, knock that character, a number of squares equal to the result. So it's a force blast kind of thing without a power action. Uh, the nifty barricade is opposing characters must end their movement when they move adjacent to this object for three points. It's kind of a fun little object. Uh, the disguise is opposing characters must end their movement when they move adjacent to this object. So that one's the same. Uh, the nifty barrel, nifty traffic barrel is opposing characters within four can't use improved movement ability abilities. And then, uh, that's the same as the disguise again. So that one's pretty solid. The traffic barrel, four squares. It doesn't say like a line of fire or anything. So it's just characters within four squares can't use to improve movement abilities. Uh, I can't remember. Is Plastic Man unique? I think he is. Yeah, he's yeah he is. Yep. Yeah. Dang. Because that would be... Being able to combo these would sure be crazy. But he's either 40 points or 20 points. He obviously was uh, released with the Wonder Woman 80th case incentives. Um, double rollout at 20 points. Double rollout at 40 points with Impervious. And, uh, yeah, just a really solid figure. Like, I don't know, I don't think anyone saw his dial and his traits and thought, like, oh, this is going to be trash once all of the figure, like, all of the objects come out for him. Like, obviously, he was only going to get better. Uh, the only reason he hasn't really seen play is because, well, half of his utility was unreleased. So, but that was, that's it for Canadian Nationals, I guess. Oh, right on. Again, the final strap. Emily, uh, for winning Canadian Nationals. I look forward. I forget. Do they get to make a figure or legacy card or something for Canadian I nationals think anymore? People have before. I don't know. PJ won once, and then he got a preview, a legacy card for a figure that everyone uh, was he, running, he but did, also he, he ran. Design, so, yeah, like he, that I, I don't think he designed it. I think he just was like, oh. "Here's Cyclops." Nobody used this character except for oh, me on my nationals dude. team in Canada. Yeah, dude. No one was running that super cyclops. No, it was pretty crazy. Very underrated. Yeah, he was doing it. Yeah, I, I honestly, I was lucky. I pulled one of the ID cards because after PJ played him once, uh, all of a sudden everybody was like, "Wow, this is a great ID yeah. character," and I didn't even see it. You know, and no one came to that realization that a running no, shot no. sidestep piece no, with like shot sidestep leadership perplex, psychic yeah. blast precision strike. That was that's a terrible combo for all bad. three or An five card. points. Uh, yep, really but yeah. <laughs> then your eyes were opened. Oh, I'm really happy. Yeah, your safety <laughs> helped you there. Opened. Um. All right. Well, that is it for news, which means we get to go on to one of my favorite segments we get to do on the show when we have three people, and that is Ad Samaritan. I'm real sorry about what you you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no, nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Now, what is Bad Samaritan, you may ask? It has been a hot minute since we played it, but everybody here is well-versed in it. It is a Hero Clicks guessing game where Bill, of course, has a random number generator, 1 through 20, and we get to choose one figure at a time. They will get a random clue depending on the number. They get three rounds of three random clues. And if they can't guess who the figure is by the end of round three, I get a point. If Bill or Simeon guess who the figure is at any time before the end of round three, then they would each get a point respectively. They can work together to try to figure out who it is, but only one of them will be getting a point, right? There's no team. There's no team called or then team Don Calder, whatever team guesser and team chooser. It's it's Bill Simeon Calder. We can each independently get points 
ourselves. Now, what Bill doesn't know is this will count toward his points for the Patreon Bad Samaritan. Oh. Uh, so he better... Yeah. Listeners Ooh. don't know, but Bill is the reigning uh, dial yes. H for Heroclix Bad Sam Not. Champ. Simeon will be playing for any listener of his choosing for Bad Samaritan since Simeon. Ooh, well, oh, wow. Qualified. You're really putting him on the spot. That's also, yes, I am. I did not tell him this beforehand. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, actually, let me run down. The I am current... a listener. You are a listener. You do listen to podcasts, maybe more than anyone else, probably. <laughs> um, but you do not give us money on Patreon. So, oh, listeners, if you don't know, if you give us money on Patreon, Every every month we do Bad Sam, so what you're about to listen to, except extra entries to the giveaway, and then of course you get to hold the the Bad Sam title belt at the end of the year if you have the highest score over all the months. Bill is sitting at 28 points for the year. The closest to him is at Jackson at 25. Uh, Simeon, let me tell you all the people that you can uh, you can represent here in Bad Sam. Obviously, you cannot represent Bill. You could represent Luke. Simeon, represent me. Don't let him tell you what to do. Chance. Jackson, Matt, or Zeph. I can tell you all their scores. Um, I think I'll just, I'll wait until we get to the end. And then you'll decide uh, who you uh, you want to give your points to. I'll be the vote that Uh, decides who who actually wins. That that feels um, like a true monarch. Just, I uh, guess. But then you if you chose someone you right now, 100 oh, points okay. to Gryffindor. Okay. So then for everybody listening, uh, so for Luke, Ben, James Chance, Jackson, Matt, and Zeph, Simeon may give you these points. We don't know. Hopefully you should root for him. Uh, Bill, you got that random number generator, 1 through 20. I absolutely do. Fantastic. Your current number mm-hmm. on the first figure is... Okay. First clue, five. Five, which is good. It's rarity and set number. Now, I'm going to tell you guys what the rarity and set number is. Listener, that's right, you, the person whose earbuds I'm coming into right now, if you want to pause the podcast after I tell you the clue so that you can make your own guess before you hear Simeon and Bill be like, hmm, hi, it could be X, Y, Z or Z, Y, X, uh, then you can feel free to do so. Make your own guess. Get it marked down, and if they get it, then hey, good job. You guys all got it right. Or if they never get it, you can... Send him an angry email being like, I totally had that right. The very first guess, you idiots never got it. And that would be hilarious. Uh, But it's number five, which is rarity in set number. This character is an uncommon set number 029. Okay, 029. Uncommon. Well, we know it's not a uh, deep cuts. It's not a prime. It's not a deep cut. Uh, Not from Eternals. Yes, not free. from. I was gonna say it's not from. I used to say not from X Men Dark Phoenix Saga, but that's no longer modern. So, um, what is a uncommon from? I'm just gonna pick like a random one. Future Foundation. Now I'll go Wonder Woman 80th, and I'll say you didn't say A or B, so it's not it one of the not. prime. So I'll say one of the uncommons from Wonder Woman. Uh, Strife? Uh, Harley Harley Quinn. That's definitely one that I pulled. Oh. I'll go with Harley yeah. Quinn. Simeon's Harley, locked in from Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn, definitely an uncommon. Uh, for the I will... When someone says a character like Harley Quinn, Wonder Woman, Captain America, etc., this will cover every character with that name. They do not have to name the exact version of that character. So, if this say were someone with multiple versions you would name it and that would be all of them in modern and again this is especially after rotation this is modern this is fantastic for through oh. disney plus uh, so bill what is so your saying guess harley quinn does cover two modern figures it does <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um i will go with well simeon picked wonder woman 80 i guess i'll go with jason Right, sounds good. I was good. the one I was trying to remember. Yeah. But I couldn't remember his name. Gonna be either of those. Clue number two on figure number one. All right. Clue number two is three. Three is going to be set. So now you know the 
Rarity, the set number, 90 note set. The set is X Men Rise and Fall. I do not know them by number, so X-Men Rise and Fall. this will not help me that much. I know two of the uncommons I know is Professor X and uh, Magneto, two like uncommon swap. No, well, sure. So, two of the best uncommons ever made, so yeah. yeah. Very good set. Awesome set. Awesome. Awesome mechanic. I really like the swap. I think everyone does. Yeah, shut it's up, pretty shut amazing. Up. Uh, shut up. I'll go with <laughs> Professor X just because I, yeah, I don't know. All right. I do not know either. Um, I will guess Magneto then. Although I doubt, okay. highly doubt Color would have picked either of those, but I don't know. So Magneto. Okay. So we have Magneto. Jimmy, did you go with Professor X? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's neither of those. Hmm. Your third and final clue. My, our third and final clue is clue number 13. Close. This is going to be opening movement power. That is going to be stealth. Printed stealth on their top dial. Stealth. Mm, that's X-Men Rise and Fall. Stealth. Uncommon zero two nine. I was gonna say, I don't remember. This is uh, Rise and Fall. It's probably Empire, but I was gonna say Golden Oldie. I think is a uh, that is an Empire figure, so you don't yeah. need to say it yet. Rise and Fall. Cut. I'll do your favor. Man, stealth, and it's not. Uh, if he, if it was common. I think multiple man might have stealth, and I think um, the brood have stealth. But as far as uncommons go, I can't even remember. Is there a... I remember pulling Sebastian Shaw. I think he was an uncommon with the... I feel like he was a rare. He might have been... um, I remember playing him, though, because he had the Krakoan Revival. There was only, like, three characters with Krakoan Revival in the set. So I remember playing him in a sealed because of that. Man, I'm going to go with Sebastian Shaw, because that's, that's the only thing I can think of right now. Okay. Okay. Right. Are we, are we possibly be those? correct. Are we... uh, I have not guessed yet, so... Um... Oh, fantastic. <laughs> So he, he gets Krakoan Revival. Sebi Shaw here. Oh. Sebastian Shaw. All right. I'm going to go down the Krakoan Revival line because of Simeon picked it. Uh, I'm going to go with Exodus. Okay. Wait. Oh, and he's probably not an uncommon. He's got to be. He's got to be a rare, right? Yeah, he is a rare. Uh, I would have allowed it. it personally. Um no. He's got to be a rare. Um, I don't oh, he, he, have he, he a great rare. guess. Um, stealth in that set. Silver Samurai. Okay. We have Silver Samurai. We have Sebastian Shaw. It is going to be neither of those. <laughs> I get a point. Who was it? It <laughs> is. <laughs> X-Men Rise and Fall 029. Callisto. That's right. Fast. Even, I also I forgot this character was in the set. I also I probably don't yeah, know ninety percent. Leader of the more blocks. Yeah, it's I weird. also forgot this character was in the set. Yeah. So typically, this version is White Knight of the Hellfire Club, and there is a theme for Bad Samaritan. Oh, we'll get ten points for guessing the theme. However, the theme I don't that think they're ready to morb because she rules the more blocks. Is she? I will. And you guys get one guess at theme if that's what you want your guess at theme no, to be. No, Wait, no. am I get am I getting the ten points? We'll get the ten points if you guess theme. Yeah, yeah, Bill. All right, yeah. all right. We'll see how this goes. Uh, so, so second figure. Hopefully, the listener kind of gets a idea of how this game's played. Second figure, first clue. That clue is nineteen. Oh man, if it was number eight, I would have died. Uh, nineteen is a free play, so. Let's pick number Whatever eight. Whatever you want to know about the figure is basically anything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wait, what, what, what one's number eight? What does number uh, eight do? Bill, it's read an HC Realms comment under this <laughs> All right, uh, let's, let's go eight, Simeon. Simeon, let's go eight. Yeah, it might not help us oh. at all, but... 
No, it won't. We'll, we're totally screwed by doing it, but let's it, go eight. Your has three comments. All okay. Right. Uh, All right. You guys don't get to know necessarily indie set. the length of the comments, but you There's do get no to indie know... sets in modern right now, Simeon, so oh, I don't even need right. to worry about that. You get Gosh. to know the name. You get to know the name of the commenter. So, okay. Ao Dern, Bellboy the Bellboy, Ao okay. Dern a second it. time, and then Max Height. Wait, if we pick Ao Dern, do we get both his comments? Like, I feel like you we have should. to choose the first or the second. Uh, we'll say Ellboy that's the, the Bellboy name. does Yo tend Dern. to be commenting a lot. Like, that's that's a name I recognize. I'm not saying that's right. going to be a good comment. Nah, but... we'll go with that. I'm down with it. Okay, going Hellboy the Bellboy? Yeah. All right. He says, at Eo Dern, what do you mean by shortened when referring to his PC? What do you mean by shortened by referring to his PC? Prob control? I mean by shortened when referring to his PC? Prob control is the only thing I can think. Uh, I mean, that's that's what I would think, too. Yeah, as far as, like, hero clicks shorthand goes. What do you mean by shortened when referring to his man? So someone got an errata? Is that what we're thinking? That In order to say it. they shortened his, shortened his probability his control? PC. Um, man, what else, what else could it be? Uh, like it'd be like his range for prop control, but it has to be modern. So it's man, I'll go with something modern that I know has prob. I'll say Loki. Okay, I will say, even though none of these, this person didn't get a, I don't know, Felix Faust. Okay, didn't, I don't know why they would have had their thing shortened, but. They didn't. I had no guess, so go for it. It is either of those. Clue 2, figure 2. Clue 2, figure 2 is 20. 20. So 20 is any two clues. Uh, and by that, I mean you gotta do two clues, basically. So randomize it again. All right. We will randomize it again. The first randomization is, well, it's 19, so I'm going to do that again. Uh, now we'll, random... give it, we'll give it to you. We'll say you get a free play off of this. Okay, free play. Free. We get one free play. The second is... We roll well enough, we get infinite wishes. <laughs> True. Yeah, <laughs> yeah ten. you keep rolling 20. The other, the other is 10. Uh, so 10 is name of a special power. They have okay. a speed power and a damage power. I am going to go with speed power. It is open the Bifrost. All right. That's and then Daredevil. Also. Uh, okay, you didn't even control. use. Uh, all right, Bill, you didn't even use your other one, so. <laughs> am I, am I right good. or not? It's yeah. It's I, right I, I don't know. Super rare Daredevil with uh, Heimdall's sword. <laughs> Is that true? Are you locked in with that, Bill? <laughs> yeah. I can't. Uh, boy, we are not actually. Says, I can't. For those of you listening to the podcast, like we are not actually doing a video chat. I'm going with Daredevil. Yeah, it's Daredevil. That's Daredevil. Yeah. So because you got it on the second clue, I believe. It's four points. Point. I mean, All right. Because it's six more than two. Yeah, okay. Yes, what it was, is Daredevil from War of the Realms. What was he responding to? Uh, so what Heyo Dern said was, it's a weird little power taxi. I love the phasing teleport with four passengers. Extended, but shortened PC is interesting. And he's like, what do you mean by shortened when referring to his PC? Because his PC is within eight squares, regardless of line of fire. So it's like... It's actually, PC is six most, squares, yeah. right? It's better. And then Heyo Dern, because he's an old boomer man, says, "Oh, it means I forgot that prob isn't ten range anymore, because prob and outwit for like, <laughs> all used to be ten range." Wait, um, prob used to be ten range? Yeah. Uh, yep. DK, Ooh, wow, DK that's nuts. So uh, eight. Yep. Ooh, man, the old days of Heroclix must have been wild. Yeah, there was well, a special. Uh, X Men. Well, it was uh, was it like was balanced TK. because all the figures were bad. So yeah, dials were bad. There was, there was no full crazy charging across the map. But there was sorry. you're TK how many squares? But are you TKing with option one or option two? Uh, I think I'll take option two today. Thank you. That was the other yeah. thing. Certain powers had two options to them, which was also true. Unnecessarily complicated. Option one or option two. Yeah. 
Uh, I would like to just make a ton of attacks. Thank you very much. No moving for me, please. Uh, I'm going to move. Just yeah. hyper flurry. Yeah. Hyper flurry. Uh, so first two figures are Callisto and Daredevil. I got a point. Still has four points, I guess. Uh, Simeon is not on the board for People whoever he's representing. Slightly damaged eyesight. Does Callisto have an eye patch? I feel he like does, she does. Yes. Yes, she does. So I feel like Calder's going with people with with damaged eyesight. Is that you want to lock in? No. Okay. I'll wait until the third figure. But that's my guess. Okay. That's my my <laughs> tentative guess. He's leaning. Uh, He's leaning. Damaged eyesight. Okay. Figure number three, Bill. Clue number one, please. Figure number three. Clue number one is. 14. 14 is opening attack power. This character has blades, claws, fangs. Really narrows it down. I'm just glad that X-Men Rise and Fall is not legal yet. Or not X-Men Rise and Fall. That uh, X-Men X of 10 of, sorry, 10 of Swords yeah, is not of legal of yet. <laughs> 10 of X of Swords. Uh, I'll That'd go ten with of X swords. because Malcolm Rush asked us and I answered with this character. I'll say Wolverine. That's like, that's like the most obvious choice to make for for blades. Who is the next most obvious choice for blades? Uh, next is uh, most obviousest. Yes, the most nexus, most possibly obvious. Maybe um, Wolverine is the only blade user in comics. So obviously, good luck. Obviously, clearly no one uses blades besides a, Wolverine. You'll have to find a fang or a claw user. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go. Wonder Woman. Okay. She's got swords and stuff. We are Maeve, speaking of Maeve. in with Wolverine and Wonder Woman. I mean, neither of those. I'm not going to do that again. Don't worry. <laughs> Figure number three. Clue number two. All right. Clue number two is 11. 11 is name of trait. This character's trait is called nothing because they don't have one. No trait. Mm. Blades with no trait. Trait with no blades. No blades, no trait. Inky it's, with no brim? Yeah. <laughs> it's modern. Uh, modern with no trait and blades. So, like, <clears throat> pogs and stuff don't count for this, right? Right. This has to be a figure with it, a dial. Oh, man. I want to okay. say the figure has its own unique set number, all that stuff. It is. I really want to say that Colossus from uh, Rise and Fall that has blades, but I'm pretty sure he's got a rally trait, so that doesn't count. Um, he does have rally, yeah. At least I'm pretty sure he does. Oh, you know who doesn't have a trait though is uh, I already talked about him with their stealth. It's um the Brood. Brood generic has blades. Ooh, and they, they do. Have no That's a solid guess. <sighs> I don't know who else would have blades without any traits, so it's probably got to be a generic. Um, I don't think Hellfire guards do, even though they probably have a. They get it on their special click, their like click yeah, weapon or whatever. Um, but yeah, they don't. They don't. They don't start with uh, blades. Tough. Who would have blades that would be a someone that could be Disney with blades? I don't think so. I don't remember anything with uh no, there's kid Loki or regular Loki. One of those does have blades because I remember I remember playing that figure, but I'm guessing they both have a trait. Actually I'm almost positive. I think ninety percent of Disney Plus has traits. Mm, this is gonna be tough for me. I am going to... I like Simeon's guess, which really irritates me. <laughs> it's really irritating when someone makes... It's really irritating when someone makes a guess where you're like, that's a really good guess. That was probably like the that's, best possible yeah. guess that they could have made. Um, this does include stuff like... I actually don't know this answer. Call the other answer me. Like, okay. if it's... If it's um, let's say it's a Battlegrounds or a starter, okay. and their second dial doesn't yes. have... Those would those would count as feet. They have their own unique aisle number. Their own unique. Okay. So, yeah. so I'm gonna guess Killmonger. Killmonger. Okay, fantastic. We have Killmonger. I have no idea if he actually has a trait or not. Rude. It is gonna be neither of those. 
So then we got two clues this time, right? Do we get both clues? Sorry? Nope. You get a third clue. You got them both wrong. Oh, okay, all right. So then the next clue is one. Uh, one. One is significant appearance. Me. Type that in really quick. Duck, duck, go. Just duck, duck, go that real quick. Uh, significant appearance as Guardians of the Galaxy, number one, 2018. Okay. Right, this, is what is on, this is what is on the Hero Clicks card. 2018. Guardians of the Galaxy, number one. Mini, mini shout out. Uh, so obviously we use the HC Realms comments for HC Realms, but Clicks Nexus is what provided us our significant. Angela. Oh, that's what, yeah. Blades probably came out around 2018. Uh, I think she was in War of the Realms. She's in the War of the Realms set. I know that she's, for sure. Yeah, she's um, sister of uh, Thor or something. Man, Drax is the only thing I can think of, and I don't remember a set that he's been released in recently. So I don't want to say Drax. Uh, I'll say, I guess Disney Plus does have. Well, no, because Disney Plus all the ex- the. Ex- the character appearances were all like the episodes that they appeared in, so it can't be Disney Plus at all. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy 2018. Uh, as Guardians of the Galaxy. As Guardians of the Galaxy? Oh. As Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, I thought you said just Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't know. Oh, well, then I will go with a, a, an Asgardo. Um, hey, Asgardo, how you doing? Hey, I'm walking here as Gardo. I'll go with Valkyrie. There's like two Valkyries we got. One for Valkyrie, one for Angela. It is going to be... Sadly, getting those points. Bill did get it. It is Angela from War of the Realms. Nice. All day. I'm going to say all day. We do have a clear-cut winner, and Bill got two out of the three right, and I got one past them. However... Because we do it on Patreon this way, we're going to make, make do it that way in the show. We're going to add a Golden Age figure. This thing is not modern, but it could be in Silver Age, could be in Golden Age, could be anywhere. Which has a 1 through 10 on the random number generator. Um, this one's more so for fun. It is also still part of the theme. So if anyone wants to hold off on theme, they can. If they don't want to hold off on theme, so they can the theme keep we are going. Callisto... Let's see, Callisto, uh, Angela, and Daredevil. I see no theme there, but we'll continue. They have a knife, okay. and I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't have a theme either. All, All right. All right, Golden Age begins. All right, so one through ten, it is seven. Then it's going to be opening powers and stats. This character has a special speed power with ten speed, no attack power with ten attack. 18 defense with energy shield deflection, 2 damage with perplex. And then they have 0 range with 1 target. That is this character's opening powers and stats. This is actually pretty solid stats. 10, 10, 18 with ESD and perplex. So it's like a pretty solid defense piece, but garbage in the damage dealing department. What would have an 18 defense with ESD and Perplex. Is there like an Iron Man? Like the Iron Man from Captain America? Was he that kind of like lackluster kind of thing? I don't think so. Uh, the like hologram one. What else could have been? Jeez. Uh, let's go with... I'll go with Iron Man just because I I can't think of anything else that would have like ESD okay. and Perplex. We've got I one do, Iron Man. I also do not have a great guess. Um, and I don't get much off the theme right now, so I'm going to go ahead and guess and say Lex Luthor. Okay, one for Iron Man, one for Lex Luthor. Rich dudes with metal suits. It is going to be neither of them. All right. The second clue on the Golden Age figure will be five. I was going to be a name of a trait. Um, this character does not have one. So free clue for you guys. Uh, I'll let you spin it again. Just right. because it is golden age and it is going to be tough. 
Spinning it again, we get a six. Mm. Special power, perfect. Because <laughs> they do have special power. They're special speed power. Blank can use force blast. And blank is an adjacent to an opposing character. Blank can use hypersonic speed. Force blast can use hypersonic speed when they're not adjacent. When they are not adjacent to an opposing character. Not right. adjacent can use hypersonic. Can use force blast. No traits and perplex. I'll I'll go with flash, even though I don't think that's right. Yeah, that was what I wanted to go with too, even though I also didn't think that it was right. Um, force blast, and they have hypersonic speed in their golden age. I will say. Man, what else? Force Blast and Hypersonic Speed. It's definitely it weird is... from Deadpool. <laughs> uh, it, it is clearly, I don't know, I, Superman. Bold, even I, interesting. I, I definitely know it's not Superman, but I did not have a guess. So. Yep. Um, it is not The Flash. It is not Superman. Number three. All right. Clue number three is two. Beautiful. Two. On the Golden Age, Bad Sam is also known as clue number eight, which is HC Realms comment. Bombs this away, is let's Golden do, Age, which means let's do this quite thing. a few. Uh, going from the bottom up, starting from Ziki the bottom, here. Ojeb, Bobcat 2022, that's huh. the name, uh, Vampiro, Amp- sorry, uh, Ampric Oda. Geo Zeus, Tin Man, Tin Man, Sakura Fire, Sea Dog, Sing Rap, fourteen forty one, and Super Clixer. Which Super one had the one had the longest uh, text? Super Clixer, Sea Dog. The only other one that I, I can read them again. The only one that like stood out to me was Sea Dog Bobcat twenty twenty two. And he said, um, did, "Super Clixer." I don't recognize any of those names. Did any of them them have a particularly longer, uh, like, rant than the other guys? So that's the same question you've kind of asked. Um, yes, but it it blanked out when I was. Uh, oh no! Yeah, so I'm just going to tell you the name. I'm not going to tell you how long the, the comment is. I'll tell you the rep points on these guys. Uh, <laughs> Super Clixers got 316,949. Okay. King Rap as... Oh, wait, that's Super Clixer. Uh King Rap has <laughs> zero reputation points. Uh, sea Dog had a ah, big number. Uh, 213, 1944. Pardon me for not knowing how math works. Million, I don't know. Uh, if I get it wrong, it's okay. And then Sakura Fire has 81 reputation point. It's not none. Uh, Geo Zeus has 22 reputation points. Vampiric Yoda has, holy crap, uh, 1889-5597 reputation points. That's a lot of reputation points. If there were points. commas, it'd be way easier. Uh, Bobcat, 2022. Has 127 reputation points. And then Diziki Pojeb has one reputation. I'm going to let Simeon choose. Oh. Uh, was it, you said Zeus had like 8 million something? Uh, no, Zeus has 22, um, which is close to 8 million. No, it, it is, yeah, uh, that is close to 8 million. Let's see. It is uh, Vampiric Yoda is the one with most amount of rep. That means it must be the best comment. Maybe. Maybe it's just like one of those people that comments all the time, though. Yeah. Let's go with the who is the second highest. Let's go with the second highest. Uh, I believe second highest was <laughs> it's either Super Clixer or let's click on Sea Dog. Oh, it's Sea Dog. Sea Dog had the second high. Sea yeah. Dog, it is. Second. Okay, Sea Dog. Second most is never the most disappointing. It's always no, just totally not. Sea Dog goes, man. When I was in grade school, 
I used to go to the roller rink all the time. And when I was out there skating, it was like I had hypersonic speed too. What? The chicks dug it big time. Okay. Especially Stacy. <laughs> Can I change my answer? <laughs> there, I don't, no, I don't listen no. To this I was, anymore. I was so happy. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy you chose this one. There I was, zipping around like a madman, quote unquote, jump. But then the rink employees brought out the stick. They're playing limbo on roller oh skates. God, what is seriously? What moron came up with this concept? Stacy, oh, I had to do it. I leaned back and then, bam, lights out. Woke up in the hospital with a concussion and <laughs> pee in my pants. What? And I found out later that Stacy started dating that jerk, Tommy, that very night. I most certainly did not have the time of my life. I there's either a I've joke never, I'm missing completely. I've never I've never been happier with what 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 person I picked. I mean, this is amazing. Uh I think the Dial H universe is happy too. This was, was pretty awesome. When I was out there skating, I felt like I had hypersonic speed. That was the last coherent have, thing you said. Yes, I have and I have no idea was, how this helps me at all. He talked about limbo, a concussion, and then what was the song I, Stacy's mom they yeah, mom, he's got it going on. Yeah, I have no idea how this helps us at all in trying to figure out what figure it is. But I'm glad I heard the comment. Like yeah. overall, this is a positive. That sounds. I want like to give him rep just... now, but he's got plenty of reps. So I'm not going to. I mean, honestly, unless I'm okay, <laughs> unless I'm missing like some sort of tie to this character where they got a concussion. Is it knockout? Is it? Is there? There's. A, yeah. Is it knockout? That's my guess. Um, to your knockout unless they somehow tied this comment into like this character well i feel like this person's just lost on the internet just con commenting randomly maybe he woke up right, in maybe. the hospital with pee in his pants and his girlfriend was gone is that what it was <laughs> now wait he never said he was dating state Okay. Oh, it wasn't even dating. He just Stacey. said, he "Just said that the chicks dug it big time, especially Stacy." Oh, you no! Know, and then he was scared. Rollerblades do limbo because Stacy was watching him. I have no idea what's happening in this, this comment. I I can read it again. What a bless. That that will help, but go for it. Okay, uh, man. When I was in grade school. I used to go to the roller rink all the time. When I was out there skating, it was like I had hypersonics too. Chicks dug it big time, especially Stacy. Here I was, zipping around like a madman to jump. Then the rink employees brought out the stick, and we started playing limbo. Roller skates? Seriously? What moron came up with this concept? Stacy was watching me, so I had to do it. I leaned back, and bam, lights out. But dating that jerk Tommy that very night, I most certainly did not had the time of my life tommy is there a tommy in hero clicks uh yeah we got some we got some names we got stacy we got tommy we have i will say am is all caps oh we get as we well get, as not is all caps gwen stacy jump um, jump is also in quotation marks um jump is in <laughs> this Alder seems to think like we can get this somehow um i i really feel like someone out there story instantly told them exactly who they're like oh yeah roller knockouts that's definitely uh concussion time jerk tommy all right uh let's just go ahead and say you guys got any guesses i i'm still going with knockout both knockout still locked in all right out. i guess i'll go there's not a I character called concussion that i know of i'll go this with Iron Man, because he did use roller skates at some point. See me going Iron Man. Already Iron Man. Oh, sorry. See me and already guess Iron Man? All right. So, um, so who else would use roller skates? Tommy. Um, Tommy Dreamer. Is Tommy your your guess? Man, I this is tough. Tommy. There's Big Tony. There's no Big Tommy. And what was the other? Stacy? Stacy. I'm going to give you a. 30 seconds here, Bill. All right, fine. Stilt, man. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hypersonic speed, force blast, yeah. stilt, man. Stilt, man tries uh, to limbo. It's not lights out. It would be tough. He would probably get a concussion if he did. 
It would probably pee his big long stilt pant. <laughs> um, it is not knockout. It is not stilt man. <laughs> This is a rare from Joker's Wild 034 Harley Quinn. This Harley Quinn is wearing knee pads, elbow pads, a oh. helmet. And oh, she's a rolly der- roller derby yeah, Harley roller. Quinn. Yeah. Yep, she's got roller skates on. Okay. Well, that uh, makes slightly more sense than, I guess, it's tangentially related to rollerblading, roller skating, whatever he said. Right, um, yeah. Wow, that that's a Harley Quinn I've never once played. Hypersonic. That's a Harley Quinn Plus I didn't know combo. existed. Yeah. I am actually gonna give rep to C Dog here. Um just because it, it did make me laugh, and I think the rest of the Dallas universe did like it. So I'm gonna tell him to uh hey, listen to episode four twenty two. <laughs> Where we we lean against your comment for way too long only to get the figure completely <laughs> wrong. Wow, yeah. we can't figure out what the figure is based on your comment, but yeah, go ahead your, and listen to the episode. Make comments more uh, explicit next time. Be like, yeah, Roller Derby Harley's great from Joker Wild or something. I don't know. We still have not made our, uh, our theme guest, which I have no, I literally don't know what it is, so... I no longer I mean, think called it's blind her to, impaired. Um, so it's Callisto definitely not blind Daredevil. impaired. So you called her. Tell us who the uh, figures were again, so the uh, audience so, is listening. Well, no. Yes. So the figures and all that jazz is going to be Callisto from Rise and Fall, Daredevil from War of the Realms, Angela from War of the Realms, and Harley Quinn on roller skates from Joker's Wild. So specifically, Angela, the things normal Angela, Daredevil who is. Again, still blind, but is whatever. The Heimdall uh, sight. Heimdall sight, Bifrost, Daredevil, War of the Realms. Callisto, specifically, is the White Knight of the Hellfire Club. Uh, I believe she doesn't, isn't normally. Uh, I don't know. But yeah. Hmm. Those are the figures. I think I based on... kind of thinking people with swords or blades, but <clears throat> hardly... Probably doesn't. If it's rollerblade Harley, like you know, obviously. She's For a split second, I thought it was people with red hair, but Callisto doesn't have red hair. Um... Oh man, my my ability to make accidental themes while making one theme almost came through again. <laughs> so so I'm going to go with lives in sewers. Uh, Matt Murdock lives in Hell's Kitchen. Uh, Angela lives in the realm of angels, and then Harley lives. Yeah, Angela's the very, Angela's the very difficult one. For those of you listening at home, uh, is not that the most difficult one to figure out? Why, like, Bill? That makes She's got red hair. What are you talking about? She's got red hair. Well, yeah, but Callisto doesn't have red hair, Calder. Uh, my oh. guess I mean, is people that are professionals. So, like Matt Murdock is a lawyer. Um, okay. Harley Quinn is a therapist. Angela is a yeah. assassin, and Callisto leads the the Morlocks, the the sewer people. Professionally, professionally, yeah, professionally leads he super leads sewer the people. the Morblocks professionally. Yeah, the Morbin time people. I'm gonna go with they are all close combat experts. Ah, yeah. That too. You know, I also now realize the three I chose for modern all have a whole dial of blades <laughs> by Axe. Totally accident. Um, no, they're not all close combat experts, or at least that is not the theme I'm for. Uh, Simeon out in the dark. They if not, all live in the dark. I, I uh, okay, well, I'll count that. It is not that. <laughs> uh, the theme is, and again, I didn't expect either of you guys to get it. Maybe some listeners might, but it is Stranger Things. So, uh, Listo is a Hellfire Club keyword. Hellfire Club is the name of their Edge Lord D and D campaign. Daredevil eyes don't work. That's a whole thing. Is in that sh- why I keep seeing season. images of Hellfire Club? Yeah, because like T-shirts and stuff. On, yeah, yeah, online. Because I yeah. was like, man, X Men got popular all of a sudden. I was like, like what are you talking about, weird. bro? Jason Wingard and Harry Leland just rotated. Best Hellfire yeah. Club members are gone. Yeah. Uh, it's because of the show. 
Never lies, seen don't the show. So good. So. Uh, Angela, there's just a character in the show straight up named Angela. And then the roller rink, Harley Quinn, specifically because there's a pretty, it's a fun scene, but a pretty important scene that does take place at a roller rink involving roller skate. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, but no spoilers for the show. I don't think we're, we're caused so fantastic. Bill did, I mean, technically we tie by getting two right, two wrong, but Bill did win the episode with the most amount of points. Uh, Bill got six points. And I got five points, but I'm going to add my five points to a listener since Simeon didn't get any points to add to somebody <laughs> else. Uh, so Bill goes up to 30, 34 points now, Bill has. Incredible. I I could add more to Jackson to narrow that gap, but he's already, he was already closest to you, Bill. So I will be generous, and I'll see if we can force aims to play more bad sam and i'm gonna bump him from 12 to 18 points yeah that's what we're going 18 james it's almost like you're oh sorry in kansas anymore sorry, sorry sorry 17 oh my bad i didn't get six points i had five points bill got six points i was cheating there a little bit he had 17 which ties him with chance mccall so chance needs to show up for bad sam more not to just ramble about star wars but to actually play the game uh so that, ladies and gentlemen, is the podcast. We had a guest on. We had a lot of news. We had really cool stuff like Canadian Nats happening. So we are going to skip listener questions. I did realize that we missed a ton of Discord questions last week because I thought we answered them on episode 420. We did not answer them. We will have to cover those next week. Uh, and Malcolm, we will get to continue your question segment yeah, next week as well. Coming up next. Yeah, defense powers. Ooh, baby. I can think of some pretty, pretty solid ones. Yeah. That represent characters. So, again, guys, stay tuned. Thank you so much for listening to the episode, but stay tuned to our YouTube channel. We're going to have our X-Men End of Swords gameplay videos coming up, and those are going to be Battle Royale gameplay. So if you've never played a Battle Royale before, or if you just want to, like, see one played with a new set, because technically it's going to be the OP kit that's, like, supposed to be Battle Royale gameplay, but this is, like, also more Ten of Swords stuff. We wanted to play Battle Royale. It's really fun. I honestly want to play more battle royale games and film them because wow did we have a great time filming this battle royale for you guys yeah. it has that same great editing where you can see all the dials change on screen thank you so much our you know editor ian doing that we'll as a, well a more streamlined way to play it so that uh, we don't have to throw so many dials up or something i don't know how exactly right we'll yeah it, we'll definitely figure we'll, something out we'll figure out, it out. But, uh, yeah, so make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel because, once again, we're giving away all those cool prizes to our subscribers. So you want to comment to enter, but you've got to be subscribed to win. Or also, you know, tell tell anyone to subscribe because then if they don't comment, then they're not really your competition. Like I said, other brother, sister, father, anybody in your life, tell them to subscribe to Alex for your quotes. Pump those numbers up. These are rookie numbers. All right, that is all I have to say. Since we started this episode. We did. Whoa, baby. One whole subscriber. Yep. That's what I like to see. 941. I'm, I'm not going to lie. That's a lot for Hero Clicks. Hero Clicks is, a is. Niche within a niche, and like most people that play probably don't go online and look for uh, stuff. It's just like that fun game that they play occasionally. They don't go online and like look for YouTube videos and podcasts and stuff. So I'm glad that all of you out there do. Um, before we do go, I guess, Bill, is there anything you would like to shout out? Oh, sure, why not? I would like to shout out um, Stadium Heroclix in uh, both Bay City and Frankenmuth, which is a great spot. They've got a uh, Master Mold tournament coming up, so everybody should go and try and compete in that if you're in the area or if you just want to go. You want to get yourself a Master Mold? Do it. It's in a couple weeks. It's going to be a good time. I'll probably be there, so... I mean, it should be a very fun time. I say everyone shows up. Nice. I still have yet to get myself a Master Mold because I refuse to pay for one. I must win one to, to truly be worth it, even though I paid for the original Master Mold. Well, um, now's your chance, Simeon. Yeah. If only I hadn't burned out all of my PTO doing other Heroclix related <laughs> things, I totally would travel like for a weekend to do something like that. But sadly, this hobby Part of me. can add up. Uh, as far as like time off goes, pretty fast. Part of me does want to go to the tournament and absolutely a Giga Stomp, Shiganders. 
win another master mold. Yeah, go there. No, 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 like you can't even handle this. Handle this fire call there. It's just so Ooh. many. You don't even want to know how many stilt men are going to be on my build. I'm going to have so, multiple silver stilt men. Just one. Yeah, silver age 400. Oh, it is. And I'm going to oh, have gosh. so many stilt men called One stilt man. It's going to be flow. With- no, no, no. Multiple stilt men can be flying across the map. Well, if you need to borrow any leg extensions, because I know you don't don't have enough, obviously. But way more legs. Well, than, you know yeah. what, Calder? If you go on to uh, coolstuffinc.com, where you could actually get 5% off by using your code, you'll find out there actually aren't any more stilt men available. Ah. And I will... Who's s- doing yeah, who who possibly could have purchased, could have all, purchased of all of those Stiltmen? Stiltmen. Yes, uh, it's certainly not me, or is it? That is, Time that will is tell. Good point. Although Stiltman may be sold out, other cool stuff isn't. So you can uh, check out the newest and latest HeroClix sealed and singles products at CoolStuffInc.com. As Bill said, five percent off when you use code Dial Five. Uh, that's on almost every order. Unless you're already getting more percentage off via their uh, rewards program. So that's pretty cool as well. But check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Happy trails. So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional. Hero clicks. No. Are you serious? Again? How many people even play this game? Like the hundred? Instant deadpan humor. Oh, how would Six how people humor? think I am funny. It's a hard day's work. Not that you know anything about that. Which absolute fools it's not witcher nonsense i'm gonna make hero clips like that forever are you kidding me <laughs> hey google attack him. let's attack simian because he's a jerk that's true, that's true. And simian oh all right i ruined it yeah i said happy trails bill Jeez, i know i ruined it up. i was gonna come i was gonna chime in there and say something fun i ruined it let's we can re we can redo this blood part i was gonna say is that 5% off only on singles? And then someone could have said, you know, oh, no, it's actually on actually, both. It's also on sealed mm-hmm. products, yeah. <laughs> All right. Do, we, do you guys want to redo it, or what do you want to do? It's ruined. It's ruined, Bill. It trails. It's ruined. It's ruined. <laughs> no. <laughs> we I don't know. Vecna it's magic. It's ruined. I don't know. Is, is, this more, is it more fun to just do it like this, or do we? I'll leave that up to you guys. Happy trails. <laughs> I'll leave all of that in.